Hi everybody, welcome to All Games New and Old. I'm David Rodriguez and today I'm going to be unboxing Raccoon Tycoon. Uh, I've had my eye on this one for a really long time and I finally saw a great deal on it so I just kind of jumped on it and decided to go for it. I wasn't sure if this would be up my alley. I'm still not sure if it'll be up my alley, but we'll find out. Let me turn this over, give us an idea of what it's about here. So it uh, plays in 60 to 90 minutes from two to five players. It has a complexity here of two out of five, strategy of four out of five, ages eight and up, and it's from Forbidden Games. It says, become a raccoon tycoon in this fast, fun game of commodity speculation and town development. Corner the market on the most valuable commodities and create a small fortune. <clears throat> Use your newfound wealth to build powerful buildings in your town or buy val valuable railroads at auction. Own the best towns and railroads on your path to victory. There can be only one top dog in Astoria. Is it you? Now, I have to admit, usually when I look at a game and it says anything like commodity speculation, I'm out. Uh, that's not, uh, it doesn't sound like something that I'm excited about. But this has cute animal people. And it's not supposed to be hyper complex. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I've been wrong. Maybe I've been scared away from those things for no good reason. So let me try this one. And if I like this and I want something with similar themes or more complicated, fantastic. Or if I just like this, it's also fantastic. But uh, this seems like a good entry point into that sort of thing. But I really haven't played too many real economic games before, at least not where that's really the, the true focus of it. So this is going to be a bit of an experiment for me when I play it. But in the meantime, let's get into this box. I'm really excited to see some of these cards with the animals dressed all uh, fancy and dapper and whatnot. I think that'll be <laughs> uh, pretty hilarious. So let's get in there. This has been out a while, and I know they recently uh, came out with um, a sort of a sequel in a way called uh, Lizard Wizard, I believe. And I thought about looking into that one, but I feel like most people who I've heard review them say they actually like Raccoon Tycoon better. And to be honest, I kind of like the look of it, even though I appreciate like the, the magic and whatnot that they have in uh, Lizard Wizard. This, I don't know, for some reason this one just called to me more. So let me open up this box. Designer, by the way, is Glenn Drover. I don't think I said that before, but that is who it is. All right, come on box, here we go. Okay, so here is the rule book, I believe. Not super huge. So the back has like a reference for the actions and it's 15 pages. Although like this, I'm getting in, like the back is like an appendix where it talks about what the buildings do. So really the rules themselves, probably 12 pages. So not too bad there. Lots of full color art, uh, some examples in there, all the stuff I, I look for, I mean, almost all rule books have those things at this point, but um, you know, if I didn't see it, I would be concerned. So there is that. All right, fantastic. Let me put that aside. So we have a board here. Let me move this over to the side so I can maybe have enough room for this. We'll see. Oh, it's not a very huge board. Okay, let me zoom out just a smidge. Oops. Oh, now I'm already zoomed out as far as I can go. We have some tracks up here, it looks like, with wheat wood, iron, coal, goods, and luxury. Then down here we have various spots uh, for cards. Looks like railroad deck, railroad, 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 um, town deck, town. So, and then we have spots for building sack and then four buildings. I really like this artwork on here. It's very pretty. Uh, there's something about anamorphics now, right? Is it? That when animals are sort of humanish, I'm, I'm blanking on the word right now and it's driving me crazy. But anyway, um, regardless, I do like that. And uh, I like pretty art, and it definitely has that. There's, um, there's a raccoon guy right here. Looks like a bear. And then coming up the road, maybe, I can't really tell. They might be cats, cat people. I'm not sure. They're a little far away. So, all right, fantastic. That's the board. Let me get the box back over here. All right, here we have a lot of punch board tokens, which look like the various kinds of uh, goods on it. I don't remember what they are, but look, I mean, this is wood. I don't know what that is. We got wheat, uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay. And then here's some more stuff. We have coal deposits, iron deposits, vineyards, auction houses, um, black market. Oh, there's a black market. Fascinating. All right. So all kinds of cool buildings here, which I'm, I'm curious how they play into the game. All right. This, I'm wondering if that's maybe a first player marker. Um, just because, I mean, there's not like multiple standees or anything like that. So I'm guessing that's what that is. I don't know for sure. All right. We have a stack 
of game money. I'm gonna try to pull this thing off here. Ugh. Now, as you can tell, this is paper money. And I think thematically, that makes a lot of sense. I don't always love paper money in general. Like I, I it, it just gets kind of messed up and it's annoying to work with in some ways. But that being said, it feels nice. Like the paper feels nice. Um, it looks like it has like a bit of a linen finish to it, which is cool. Still, you know, very thin, just like any paper would be, but um, seems nice quality. And it could be a game where you know, sometimes the, the theme really makes things work out when they otherwise wouldn't. So I could see where that could possibly be the case here. I don't, I don't know yet, but we'll find out. All right, let's get into some of these decks of cards. So I'd love to hear if any of you have played this game because uh, it's been out for a while. I don't know the exact release date, but um, I know it's been out for at least a few years. So if any of you have played it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So, let's see, so I'll say price and production. Is that what all of them are? That might be what all of them are. Oh, but it has like different icons on it, so I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, pretty much the same format for all those cards. Your price and production cards, oddly enough. Okay, let's get into these. I think these are gonna be the more fun ones because you have animal people, at least on some of these. That's what I wanna see. It sort of, in a way, makes me think of uh, Everdell, which is another game I have not played, but just because you have uh, animals doing sort of humanish things, which uh, I always enjoy. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Let me get this box of likes. I think that's gonna make it hard to focus. All right, let's get in here and take a look at some of these guys. So, okay, so you have, like Skunk Works Railroad. Another picture for them. I like the skunk people. Sly Fox Railroad. Okay, so these guys all represent Different railroad companies, it looks like. There's the lady from the Sly Fox Railroad. Fat Cat Railroad. More Fat Cat Railroad. I like it, it's very cute. Big Bear Railroad. I like that she's sipping tea. That's pretty fantastic. Top Dog Railroad, like that. Different kinds of dogs here, all right. Tycoon Railroad. She's playing uh, something. I'm never good at string instruments, but it's it's one of those string instruments. Uh, Beaver Ford, Blackfriar, Bridgewater, Molehill, Newgate, Trinity. These pictures are really pretty, I gotta say. I'm really liking the art. Foxwoods, Marketshire, Wildgrove, Badger Downs, Bishop's Glen, Dunmore, Land's End. I used to love their catalogs. Uh, River Ridge, Canterbury Woods, Dover Crossing. I want to live in these places. I wish I was a raccoon so I could do that. Uh, gorgeous art. Super, super pretty. I think... This theme that they've done adds a lot of fun to an economic game, which, you know, it uh, doesn't necessarily scream fun to me. And some people really like economic games, which is great, but um, I've at least never been drawn to them. But I like what they've done with the theming of this one because I think it'll make it a little more accessible to me. I'll be a little more excited to try it. Let me zoom back out a smidge. There we go. Maybe. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's my unboxing of Raccoon Tycoon. Please let me know if you have any thoughts on this game. I'd love to hear them. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. If you enjoyed that video, you might also like this one. Or this one. If you like any of our videos, what you should do is click this little button to subscribe so you'll know about the next time we put out a video. We'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.